Today we're going to talk about derivatives. Derivative is a fancy calculus word that means the instantaneous slope, or the slope at a particular instant of time. So if I have a function like x equals 5t to the third minus 7t squared plus 6t minus 125, for example, and I want to find the derivative of this function. First, let's take a look at a generic sense. If I have x equals some constant a times t to the n, then the derivative of x with respect to time, written dx dt, the way I find this is I take the exponent, I bring it down in front and multiply. So n times a, t, and I raise it to the n minus 1 power. I reduce that exponent by 1. So derivative, take the exponent, bring it down in front, multiply, and then reduce the exponent by 1. So n times a t to the n minus 1. So for example, if I have x equals 5 t to the third power, then dx dt is equal to 3 times 5 t to the 3 minus 1. Or in other words, 15 t squared. So back to this problem. If I have a function, a polynomial function like this, I simply treat each monomial by itself and do the derivative. So dx dt would equal 3 times 5 t to the 3 minus 1 minus 2 times 7 t to the 2 minus 1 plus 1 times 6 t to the 0, t to the 0 is 1, so that's just 6, and the derivative of a constant, remember a constant is like having a t to the 0 power here, so that 0 down in front makes that 0. This is the derivative. Now, I can take the derivative of this function again, that would be called the second derivative. And the notation for a second derivative is d squared x over dt squared. And that just means I take the derivative of the derivative of x with respect to time. And so this becomes then 2 times 15, t to the 2 minus 1, so t to the 1, minus 1 times 14, t to the 0, and then a derivative of a constant is always going to be just 0. So that is the second derivative. And that's how you do derivatives.